What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott, and as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about five things, that, five tricks at least, that can get a guy to open up and reveal his feelings to you, okay? Now, the more you do of these, the better chance you have. I highly recommend you stack them. I'm just saying that now before we even get into it because I feel like the more of these you have in your favor, the more he's willing to open up and you're going to understand why, okay? Now, before we get started, if you haven't yet, Please subscribe, just click the red button that looks just like this, for the love of God, just click it, okay? And if you haven't worked with me yet, and you would like to work with me and have an email session, which all of you can afford, the link's down in the description below. You might as well do it, okay? It's cheap, you get some insight on, on your situation, it's no harm, no foul, right? It's only going to benefit you, okay? So, jumping right into this, here's the thing. Guys... Uh, some of the guys don't want to express their feelings. They're just very hesitant to for a bunch of reasons. Now, I just made a video about that uh, a day or two ago. So, watch that first if you haven't watched this. But the guys are very hesitant for several reasons. And I think what I'm about to show you or tell you are going to be ways to get him to more or more likely open up to you and uh, tell you all that, that good mushy stuff that you all like. Right? That mushy stuff. Okay? So, here's number one. This is very common sense, but I am going to explain it in a way where um, guys or where you understand, okay? Number one is to, uh, I hate saying this because it's so obvious, is to build trust, okay? Now let me explain why this is so important. Just like I said in my last video, guys are very hesitant in opening up to a girl because of how she's going to take it how she's going to respond. Not that she's going to turn him down. He's not worried about that. He knows you like him, right? But that's the problem. He knows you like him and, well, I mean, that's not really a problem, but it can go hand in hand. It's not causation, but it's correlation in a way where he's afraid to tell you these kind of things because you might change, right? You might become more eager, more available, more interested. You might take it as the green light to go and, uh, and just release crazy on him and he's not going to want that, okay? He wants, he, wants, he wants your trust. He wants to know that he's able to tell you this um, and you're able to appreciate it, okay? Because again, a lot of guys don't open up. Just like women are very uh, protective of who they sleep with, well, some women are, are very protective of who they sleep with, this is kind of the equivalence to men. Men are very, very, very um, protective on who they, they express their, their self and their feelings too. If, if, you know, if you're a special woman and he feels you're special and that you're worthy of it, he is more, more happy, more than happy to open his heart, his mind, his mouth um, to, to tell you how he feels, okay? But you have to win it over first. You just can't expect it because you like him. You have to win it over. Just like a guy has to court you to sleep with you, again, some of you, you know, not that there's anything wrong with that, you can't expect a guy to open up and, and, and tell you what he want what you want to hear. And the real guys, not 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 guys who are just trying to get in your pants, but you know, to genuinely open up and tell you how he feels. You just can't do that overnight. You just can't do that over a couple weeks. It has to be um, all these other things I say, and at the same time, it, it's just you have to be special. There has to be a reason he wants to open up to you, okay? There has to be a reason. There has to be a benefit. Because a lot of times, guys think it's a disadvantage, okay? Because of how a woman reacts. It's just like sex, right? You both think sex is a great thing, and it is. But sex is a serious thing. It's intimate. And it, just, or it does change the dynamics of the relationship. You know how sex is. You know how people act after it. Some people get serious, and it does change the vibe a little bit. This is the same way. Right, so just like women are very hesitant to sleep with the guy because it, it might be uh, changing the vibe, he's the same way with that. Okay, so number two is um, ask him what he looks for in a woman. Okay, what he God, can you read that? Ask him what he looks for in a woman. Now. I'm going to be very, very, very uh, clear with this. Don't ask him what he's looking for. Ask him what he looks for in a woman. Do not ask him what he's looking for. That's going to ruin everything. 
And the reason I'm telling you to ask him this is because just like me and a lot of other guys, we kind of want to hint at you that, hey, we're really feeling you, that we're really digging you, and things like that. So when you ask him this question, you're basically giving him the okay, the green light this, to add some of your characteristics to it, right? So if I'm talking to a, a, a good looking brunette with brown eyes, big butt, good personality, things like that, she, you know, who likes to travel, um, and those kind of things, you, you know, and she asks me, so, so what do you look for in a girl? I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to throw in some random things in there that I do think are important. I would probably say, you know, I, I, I like ambitious women. Um, I like brunettes. Uh, I'm a big fan of, you know, dark brown eyes. I, I, you know, I like to travel, so hopefully I like someone who travels. I'm a, I'm a butt guy, so if she has a nice butt, that's always a plus. You know, just things like that. He's going to throw in about 50 or 60 percent of uh, of your characteristics in there. So if you want to be sure the guy's really filling you out, especially in the beginning, right, when you're going on the first couple of dates, several dates, this is a great way to get a guy to open up, okay? Which kind of, speaking of that, dates, which kind of gets me to number three, is to set the mood, okay? Now listen, you might look at this and be like, oh God, that's so cliche, so normal, so whatever, I could read that in a damn magazine. This is very, very, very important. Guys are in the moment creatures. That's why some days you'll hear guys say something, then the next day his actions don't line up. Sometimes he does mean what he's saying because it's in the moment. He's a very, guys are very, very in the moment creature. So if you want to get him to open up, you got to set the mood. You gotta be fun. You gotta be laid back. There has to be no pressure. He has to be really happy and, and, and enjoying your company in the moments. A lot of times when guys open up is when him and her are laying down there cuddling, watching something good, um, not fully committing to it. Like for example, there's a you know like if I had a girl over for for example, I would probably watch um, Buzzfeed videos or tasty videos or something like that. Certain BuzzFeed videos. I don't like the politics of BuzzFeed, but you know, like they're worth it or they're unsolved uh, um, thing. You know, just things like that. Things that aren't so long, like a movie where if you miss a part of it, you miss the movie. But you know, it's chunks, like episodes, small little 10 to 15 minute episodes. Um, I think that works wonders. If you can get a guy to sit down and watch Tasty with you or, uh, or worth it, or the Unsolved series, something like that, and, ha and just have fun, hang out, and talk. This works for me at least, uh, and you have good conversation. He's more willing to open up over, you know, in a much faster time than usual. Okay, number four would be um, reverse psychology, and here's what I mean by that. Let me just put Sai here. A lot of women reveal their feelings way too fast. Maybe not by what they say, but how they act, right? So a lot of women might be too interested, too eager, too available, way too available all the time, want to see him all the time, blow up his phone, whatever it is, and the guy knows where she stands. Well, when not only mystery, when mystery is very, very attractive, okay, number one, when you have that kind of undertone, you know, the mystery on where each other stands, like or wanting to know where each other stands, but at the same time, when his job is to win you over, it's very, very sexy when you don't reveal your cards, because if you don't reveal your cards, he's going to have to, okay? Because he knows that's what you want. So if you hold out long enough, he is going to have to keep on giving and giving and giving and giving to a point where it's pretty, it's pretty obvious how he feels about you. That's very, very important. But a lot of women are too eager, too interested, too intense in the beginning that she's, she totally misses, up, misses this opportunity with the guy. Okay, so if you're able to do a little bit of reverse psychology, not playing hard to get, just doing what he's doing, just hanging out, having fun, but not overdoing it. Uh, and his job as a, as a masculine energy, uh, you know, just as a male is to provide and satisfy for the woman, to court her, to win her over, he's eventually going to have to show or reveal something to get there. But the reason a lot of guys don't is because he never has to because the woman gives in too fast, too early anyway. Okay, so keep that in mind. 
And last but not least, kind of going with what I said again, or on, on the uh, number four, the show appreciation. Okay, we'll just say that. I know appreciation has one or two pieces. I think it has two. Show appreciation. Now, why is that? Well, number one, showing appreciation builds that. Okay. Showing appreciation goes with that. A lot of times guys are very, very hesitant, like I said, on opening up to a girl. And at the same time, his job is to provide and satisfy. So if he knows there's no harm, no foul when he does it, again, guys are like, I tell women all the time, at least my clients, guys are like dogs. You can't get mad at a guy for what he does a lot of the time because of three things. One, you let him. Two, he thinks he can get away with it. So right there, if you let him or he thinks he can get away with it and then you keep on doing it, it kind of leads to the third thing, which is you condition a guy um, to act the way he's acting. So if, you, you know, so if a guy comes and goes out of your life, comes and goes out of your life, and you allow it, you can't get mad at the guy. He's just taking advantage of the situation, and you're allowing it. You know, So you can't get mad at a guy for that. And this is kind of the same thing on a more positive note. If you want a guy to do good, praise him when he does good. If you don't like when he does something wrong, pray, or don't praise him, but scold him when he does something wrong. So if he leaves, he should come right back into your life and get the spot he had um, to begin with. That's not fair to you. And you're only conditioning him by not showing him a penalty uh, that that's okay, okay? So you do want to show appreciation when he does open up or he gives you a little bit uh, of something. You want to let him know it's okay. So that being said, ladies, there you go. There's five things that I do know that work, okay? So if you do any of these, you'll be okay. The more the merrier, you're fine. That being said, I love you. Take care and peace.